here we go. So we're going to go ahead and climb it on up. I told you I'm jealous that you're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows what you'll be doing later, huh? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe after Miss Nevada. You never know. This is it. My career as an aircraft engineer, and I never really thought I would be doing this, but here I am. When did you start flying? Well, I started flying since I was 15 years old. I built my own hang glider, taught myself how to fly it. And then I went to college at the University of Nevada, got an engineering degree. Then I started doing videos and books on how to do this. And I was doing uh, consultant, engineering consulting work on the side. Then the economy went down, and I thought, oh, my God, I might have to get a real job. <laughs> That one of my friends in Hawaii, and he says, hey, can you come over here and help me for a couple weeks? And I said, yeah. So I got an airplane that day, went to Hawaii, flew for two weeks, and I stayed there for five months, flying people around them. Decided, hey, why don't I just do that here? So here we are. Wow. That, like I say, you never quite know every time that phone rings. You never really know what it's going to be. That's true. How, how, and what a good thing that you said yes to, because now, if this is your normal job... That's right. That's amazing. Exactly. To see all of Emerald Bay like this... Isn't this awesome? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a turn here. We're going to get kind of the classic shots of Emerald Bay. Nice, huh? Yeah. It's incredible to see. This is oh, wow. interesting here. Look at all the snow back up in the mountains there, all coming down. We got the falls are really happening up here. We don't have that. We're not really getting that much wind here, so we can head on back. Island, a little tea house there. Vikings home down below. And we'll descend on down here. Check out the falls. Look at the falls are really happening. Oh my goodness. to see all this. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. This is great. Now, are you from the area then? Because you went to school at UNR. Yeah, well, I, I grew up um, in, uh, like New York State, upper New York State, uh, Arizona, Utah. And then my father and grandfather both graduated from UNR as engineers. So when I went to try and build a better hang glider, everyone says, well, you got it. You want to be an engineer. So that, yeah. helped, that helped choose my career. Well, yeah, I mean, you were doing that at 15. It... Built my first, first hang glider at 15. <clears throat> then I always wanted to build a better one. So that's why I went to engineering. And then it was kind of funny. One day I was building a wing down there at the Reno Ski Shop. And I was, you know, a hot summer day, and I spent all this time built, you know, inside building, and, and this group of guys came back and said, oh, man, we had such a great time flying, and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, it, just, it was such a good time. And I thought to myself, geez, what am I doing inside of here, <clears throat> working like that when I could be out flying? So then I kind of took up more flying as my... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as my... One of my career paths here. I I thought that was so cool though that you're able to teach me. Teach you some stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> How to just kind of navigate the basics of this. The basics, yeah. See. Yeah. So that's really what an introductory flight does here. So here we go. Oh. A little low here. <laughs> On up. Well, that's what an introductory flight is. It, it kind of gets it introduces you to it, so you can tell people about it. Some people, 
like one in 20 people continue on after they do this and they say, wow, I didn't realize you could do that. Because no, yeah. one, no one really realizes it. 